continuation from the uh, last video I published. Um, I wanted to make a point about the duty cycle and uh, the cautionary note that I mentioned. Uh, don't increase the duty cycle too high on the trigger signal because you just start to needlessly uh, heat the uh, the coil um, because of course the duty cycle uh, is essentially the dwell um, and the dwell is essentially how long the coil the primary coil is actually saturated for um, or energized let's say uh, so there is a point where if the duty cycle actually becomes too high on the trigger signal where you just start making needless heat so what I'd like to do with this little experimental setup is actually I'm going to set a frequency a trigger frequency of 30 Hertz um, 30 Hertz unlike the last video boys where I think my math was on crack cocaine uh, uh, or something uh, and one of the guys in the comments rightfully pointed out my math was off on the uh, RPM if we have 30 Hertz trigger signal that should translate to if we're talking about a traditional four-stroke engine not a waste spark system uh, if my math is correct this time I think we're talking about 3600 RPM right one spark for every two rotations this test set as the clock is in the background to show you the time frame uh, what I actually have on the two uh, the two thermal couples uh, the bottom uh, is actually the coil temperature uh, the top one is just the ambient temperature in my garage at the moment boys so you should see uh, a correlation in the temperature uh, the temperature should climb uh, in conjunction with the duty cycle that we'll actually select. Again, I'll show you the pulse uh, repetition and width, uh, or duty cycle, if you will, uh, on the Vantage. That's what the Vantage is actually displaying. So I'm just going to select up here on the actual uh, signal generator, 30 hertz. I'm going to start at uh, 5 uh, five percent duty cycle, and then we'll go to... Um, We'll, we'll go a 30% duty cycle, and then we'll go a 60% duty cycle. Say, uh, I don't know, um, maybe three minute intervals or so, and uh, we'll actually go in, in high speed mode because I don't think you guys want to watch paint dry, right? Uh, that was about three minutes. You can see we have about about a three degree increase in the temperature, I guess, um, over that three minute time span. And you can see we have a significant increase in the temperature. In fact, it's still climbing as we speak. It's climbing at an almost alarming rate now. Uh, but I'm gonna continue to dial this up just a wee bit higher. Let me go, yeah, a duty cycle of a uh, let's say 50% and I think you can easily see that if you have a short on the trigger line um, where it goes high all the time um, you are gonna burn up a coil real quick in fact uh, we might do that momentarily I'm only gonna let this run for about a minute here boys because I think uh, I think we've made the point uh, but let's go a uh, high-speed mode and we'll uh, do so for a minute. 50% uh, duty cycle, you can see we're actually starting to climb the heat at an alarming rate now. So let's just go up to uh, duty cycle of 100%. Watch the temperature. Yes, the uh, we're not getting any spark, of course, because there's no longer any triggering event. You know, there's no rising and falling edge on the system, so the uh, the igniter proper is not actually triggering. However, the coil is turned on. The primary coil is turned on. It's fully saturated. Can you see there? This is the magnetic sensor, of course. And in proximity. The magnetic field is there and you can see that our temperature is just climbing through the roof this is how you end up with a scenario that burns up coils right the trigger line is shorted to uh, the battery positive or there's an internal failure in the triggering mechanism that keeps uh, uh in the ecm itself i'm talking about that actually keeps a high uh, a five volt line 
high on the trigger line and you can see that the coil will turn on and it just makes sits there and makes heat just uh put it back on a low rate here five percent something reasonable and i think we should uh, even though the coil is operating i think we'll still see the uh because the saturation of the coil is actually low the temperature should still actually decrease even though the coil is actually in operation I think you get the idea. Um, the duty cycle will have a huge influence on the actual um, on the temperature that the coil on plug assembly is actually going to generate. And you can see, uh, I'm, there's no point in watching this return to whatever it'll settle at eventually, boys. 30 degrees, 35 degrees, 40 degrees, whatever it would be happy at. Uh, I think you get the idea. Um, yeah, I hope that made some sense. Uh, and uh, we'll leave it at that. I kind of uh, found that somewhat interesting. Uh, hopefully some of you guys did too. That's it, boys. Cheers.